Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on T Navigator Reservoir Simulation Software. We are now inside the T Navigator. And what you see is actually a map, a 2D map from static model. Okay, so as you can see here in geometry objects, I have 3D grids. And as you can see, I have this one static static and this one the dynamic model currently we are in static model 2d map all right now i will show you the properties porosity okay so now you are watching the 2d map of porosity from the reservoir model all right and this one the 3d 3D model for porosity. And you can see the trajectory of the wells. All right. And from static data, we can go to the dynamic data, this one. And we will check the calculated variables to be specific, the pressure. And go back to 2D map. I want to show you the, the pressure map, All right? 2D map, dynamic model, pressure map, okay? And we can also get the palette, grid settings, in settings, grid settings, palette, show the palette. All right, so as you can see, now we have the palette of the reservoir pressure in bar. Right, but the main subject of this video is actually making graphs. All right, making graphs of production rate, water cut, and other variables. Okay, so from here, from geometry objects, we go to graphs, this one. All right, graphs, and we will create, click this one first. I want to create graphs. Okay. So we will create some graphs to show the production rate, for example, for oil production rate, gas production rate, water production rate, water cut, pressure, and other variables. Okay, so from here, we can create a new template, add new template, add template. We call it template one, all right? And still we have one graph here. Click this one, close. Right, you can see this one, template options. Click this one. I want to create four graphs. So what I should do is actually this one. Okay, I just click this one and now I will have four graphs in my template. I click apply, click okay. All right, so you can see now I have four graphs. This will be my template for graphs. All right, so now I want to click this one, the first graph. And in this graph, I want to plot my oil production rate. All right, so from here, after clicking this first graph, I go to the rates. You can see here, I can show you the numerical aquifers, the aquifers, the information for fluid in place, all right? The statistics, the pressure, totals, okay? And I want to show you the rates. So click this one, rates. And for the first graph, I want to plot oil production rate. Okay, so this one, oil rate. Oil rate is for simulation results. Whereas oil rate and H in parentheses is actually oil production rate from historical data. Click this one. All right, so now I have two plots. This one is actually taken from historical data and the line is actually the results from simulation or simulation results. But as you can see, the production rate, oil production rate from simulation is still zero 
because we haven't run this model. All right, here, run. After clicking this one, the simulation will start. And the software will calculate everything, right? And we will get the simulation results. And later on, we will compare the historical data with the simulation results to assess whether our model or our simulation has been matched or not. All right, so this one is for oil production rate. And in this graph, I want to show you the water production rate. Okay, by the way, this production rates is actually taken from each well. All right, here. Okay, if I want to show you the rate from well three, well 14, well 22, right? The plot will change. I click this one instead to get the result or to get the data from all the wells. All right, go to the second graph, click this one. And now we will find water rate, water production rate from simulation, still zero, and from historical data. All right. And now the third graph, for example, I want to show you the liquid rate, simulation, still zero, and historical. And lastly, for example, I want to show you the water cut. So first we have rates. Water cut is actually taken from analytics. Go to analytics, open the drop down menu, and find the water cut. Simulation results and history. All right, so far so good. And now I want to make the plot different. All right, for example, for the simulation results, the plot will be shown in line. Whereas for the historical data, I want to show the I want to show the data by plots. Okay, so I will click this one. All right, here, right click and click edit. Now I want to edit the oil rate for historical. I want to change the color to green. Usually to show oil, we use green color. This one or this one. Okay, and now I want to make the line shape dots only. Click dots, click apply. All right, so you can see now the data, historical data for oil is shown with these dots. Whereas for the oil production rate from simulation, this one, again, I want to change to green color but with line, click apply, all right. And then I want to change the liquid rate for liquid rate. I want to change it to black. For historical, I want to show the dots only. Whereas for the simulation results, again, I want to turn it to black, but with line, all right, firm line, okay. Click apply. And what about the water cut? I want to keep the blue color. Okay. But I will change it to dots only for the historical data. Whereas for the simulation results, I want to keep the firm line. Click OK. Click apply. All right. And lastly, we need to change the water rate. For the historical data, I turn it to dots only and I want to make the color different from the water cut by changing the color maybe to, I don't know, this one, light blue. Okay, apply, a bit weird. So let's change the color again to purple. Click okay, all right. And again, for the simulation results, keep the firm line, change it to purple. All right, so far so good. If I click this one again, I want to add 
another graph. It's difficult to make it five, so I want to make six instead. Click apply. All right, for example, for the fifth graph, I want to plot pressure. So from analytics, close the analytics, go to pressure. What can we have in pressure? Average pressure, okay. Average pressure. Okay. Later on, we will get the average pressure from the simulation. And lastly, maybe we can get rates from gas, gas rate, and gas rate from historical data. All right, so far so good. And I want to change the color for the gas rate. Again, click edit, right click, click edit. For the historical data, I want to make it dots only. And the color, I want to change it to red. Apply. Whereas for the gas rate from simulation results, I want to change it to red. And I will keep the firm line. Apply. All right, so far so good. So you can do in your T Navigator, you can do the graphs customization like the thing that I do and the thing that I show you. All right, so that's all. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope this video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next T Navigator videos. Thank you.